With us now is Jim Carter, and he is the Information Security Officer at Bethpage. And you guys know I love Bethpage. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about fraud. How are you today? I'm great, Donna. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Fraud is very prevalent. So what are you doing um, at Bethpage in regards to that? Well, one of my main responsibilities is to keep an eye out for um, fraud, in particular cyber fraud. Um, as the Information Security Officer, it's important to the organization to keep abreast of the cyber threats or online threats that are out there. And a good portion of my job is to keep the employees aware of those threats so that we know they can help protect our members' information. And what are you seeing? What are the trends? Um, everything has gone digital nowadays, so online fraud is really where the, the, the fraud trend is increasing. Okay. And so have you seen a problem at Bethpage that you've been able to nip in the bud? Well, we've seen, like other financial institutions, fraudsters tend to send out what are known as phishing emails. Because of all the breaches that have occurred, the IRS, the uh, retailers, and others, uh, fraudsters are able to get many, many uh, valid email addresses. So it's very easy and inexpensive for them to send out literally thousands of emails um, with links or attachments that either point to or contain malware. Some of this malware can actually install itself on the user's PC and start recording their user IDs, their passwords, and their user IDs to get into their online accounts. Email addresses, too. People have multiple email addresses. How can we best, um, as a consumer, right, protect ourselves? What should we and should we not be doing? Well, one thing is to be skeptical of any email that you receive. Okay. If you're not expecting the email, I would just say the best thing to do is ignore or delete it. If you think you were expecting it, like it might be from someone, but you don't really recognize exactly who it could be, but you think you may know who it would be, I would say to reach out to that person separate from email, possibly give them a call if you have the number, to validate the email. And if somebody does hack into um, your personal data, I guess, or Bethpage, or you think that you've been compromised, what, how can we best work with you as a client of Bethpage? What, what should we do? What should be our first step? Well, if they think it's financial fraud, they think maybe um, someone accessed their online banking account and they should have definitely reach out to uh, the financial institution um, and have them start an investigation into it. That would be the, the best thing to do. But people should be aware that um, they need to protect the devices they're using when they are online. Okay. You know, make sure that they have good anti-malware applications on there. Um, you know, be careful of the sites that you visit. Just simply visiting some websites, if the website is infected, can cause a problem on the user's computer. And I do see that being uh, problematic, especially in the gaming department, like if you're downloading free games or if your kids are using your computer. There's so many different things that you're just exposing yourself to, you know, almost as if, I'd hate to say this, but like uh, a medical virus, you know, the way that you protect your body Right, should be the same way that you protect your PC yeah, or your it, Mac or right. Yeah, and it's more than just protecting the PC or the hardware. It's protecting. Think of how you use your own information and just be careful of, of how you're using it and who you're giving it to. And you're right because so many things are also like cross-referenced. You know, it's easy to get somebody's social security number. Maybe three days later they're going to pick up your bank card number. Four days later, I mean, these people are ruthless in terms of once they get a little bit of information, creating a whole profile on you. Exactly right, and that leads to identity theft. Excellent. Uh, so if you are the victim of identity theft, how can you repair it? Do you help your clients sometimes with that? On the Bethpage website, under advice and planning, there's a whole section on fraud and how uh, people can go there and get information on it. They can also go to identitytheft.gov. is an excellent website that has a lot of information on that. Excellent, and it's nice that you're in place there. So you've been there 30 years. What do you love best about working at Bethpage? It's a great company to work for. It's one of the reasons I've been there. In my case, I've done a lot of different roles over the years, and it's kept it very interesting to me. Excellent, and I see you have a lapel pin, one that you've earned, right? Your, your, your B, yep, your Bethpage, go yep. Bethpage. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with Jim Carter, and we've been learning a little bit about fraud and how Bethpage Federal Credit Union can help you, because why? We love Bethpage. Stay tuned for more.